Howdy, uh, my name is Bryce Wildey. We farm down here in Lyford, Texas. Uh, welcome to our farm. And I farm with my mom, my dad, and my brother. Uh, we farm cotton, grain sorghum, sugar cane, um, some corn, uh, but we're here to talk today about some sorghum that we're shipping out and uh, that we grow and how that fits into our operation. We've got our on-farm storage facility. Uh, we built this in 2017 after many years of trying to figure out if that was gonna be a viable option for us and how that certainly fits into our operation. Uh, currently, before that, we took a lot of our uh, product to uh, commercial facilities in the area, uh, to ports in the area and, and uh, things like that. We plant varieties that are specific to being able to hold and maintain quality for 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 a few months. Um, from a standpoint of threshability from the machines, we can really understand how we can get the best um, sample, the highest bushel weights. Uh, we have some cables and uh, automation tools that help us maintain the airflow to, to turn on uh, the, the fans at the certain and right temperature and the humidities and things like that to be able to continue to have that long-term storage that we're looking for. So 2020 was a challenging production year for us. Uh, we started out pretty dry, uh, but was still able to get a, uh, a crop up and, and do a very good job of maintaining. When we talk about managing weeds just in general on sorghum, uh, we do, that's a long process that starts in the fall, uh, putting down some pre-emergent herbicides and then uh, coming into the production year, uh, cultivating and, and just having a keen eye. Now, when we talk about insects, every year is different, but this past year, the sugarcane aphid wasn't near as bad as it has been in years past. That this time of year, we're already making decisions going forward to 2021, even into 2022. We need that demand. We, we want to be able to be told this is what the market wants. So this year, we're very excited to be shipping out to a, a very demanding export market. It really has made things exciting down here on the farm to produce sorghum, to produce a good quality product. Uh, we're shipping out currently to US number one um, to China, and it's just, it's, it makes things exciting uh, when we have that sort of demand and that sort of desire for our, uh, our product. If you're sitting there really desiring U.S. sorghum, you, you gotta tell us because we're excited to grow it. We're here, we're ready, we're ready to get after it. Um, and so please just give us, a, give us a heads up and a shot because we're ready to produce.